Hello, I'm going to try and play some uh, a little bit of rock and roll for beginners, complete beginners. Just a bit of fun, really. Um, if all else fails, you'll learn a rock and roll song with three chords. Um, the three chords we're using is A, D, and E. And the pattern, the uh, the strumming pattern, is just down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Well, that's all right, Mama. Well, that's all right for you. Well, that's all right, Mama. Just any way you do. Well, that's all right. That's all right. The song is copyright free actually, it's in the public domain. It was written in, in, in 1946, but it was recorded by Elvis Presley I think, 10 years later. I think it was a huge hit. Um, and it's only got three chords, as I say, you've got the A chord, D chord and E chord. I'll take you through it again slowly, and then we'll look at a little bit of 12 bar, uh, which is normally associated with blues, but you can use a little bit with so in other words, if you, if, if you sang the first song, you could put a little bit of 12 bar in the middle then go back into the second verse and it just gives you a, a little bit of variety when you're beginning something a little bit new. So, it's all right. A. Well, that's all right, Mama. A, that's all right for you. Keep it A. That's all right, Mama. A. Just any way you do A, well that's all D, right. That's all right, D, keeping D, well that's now E, all right mama, any way you do, back to A. So when you get to the end of the first line, you could put your little finger on the top E gives you an A7, so you're good. So. Well that's alright mama, well, that's alright for you, well, that's alright mama, just any way you do, that's alright <laughs> to D, that's alright, so on, just to give it a little bit of extra. A7. So a bit of 12 bar is, this will be blues, but you can play it. Fourth, well, the third string from the bottom is the D string. Put your first finger on the second fret of the D string and you're playing also the string below. This is your A chord only going to play two strings and then with your third finger you're going to put your third finger on the fourth fret of the D string on off on off on off on off that gives you that's all right mama and then when you go up to the D um, you move up a string to the G third from the top G string Put your first finger on the second fret and you're going to play the the line below the string below and that's your d chord but you're only playing two two strings and you can do exactly the same with your third finger on the fourth fret on off on off and then back down to the string below down to the A string, second finger on the second fret of the A string, second to the bottom string that is, you're going to be using the string below it again, and you're going to be putting your second finger on the fourth fret on off on off, and back to the A, because when you're playing that, those two strings at the bottom it's just an E. 
back to A. Uh, I'm not playing with the plectrum. If you play with the plectrum, you can be more definite and, and hit the right two strings. When you're playing with your fingers, you tend to just sort of hit many things. Anyway, but I don't like plectrums. I drop them and don't know what. So, um, you could just play that in the middle. just a little bit of fun and something to throw into your armory when you're just really learning to play the guitar. Hope it helps a little. Speak to you again. <laughs>